Hey. You know, I don't care if people hate me, but I can't stand it when they misquote me. <clears throat> One of the defining features of the stupidity of the internet is that uh, they'll actually uh, try to uh, pull you down and say that uh, you take a position that you don't actually take. <laughs> uh, and the biggest one that always uh, pops up is uh, Einstein. And I say, oh, this guy thinks he's so smart. He thinks he's better than... I he said so-and-so about Einstein. Actually, I didn't say that. What I was doing, in fact, was uh, quoting Nikola Tesla. This is an important point, and no one's ever made this in any article or book or anywhere on YouTube before. Everybody could agree that Nikola Tesla was a very gentle soul. You know, he like hang out in the park, feed the pigeons. Like, no one ever accused Nikola Tesla of, like, uh, popping his cork. Yeah, you know, getting violent. <laughs> There's no recorded incidences of Nikola Tesla and fistfights or anything. He was obviously a gentle soul. The only time of record that we have where Nikola Tesla lost his cool, uh, harangued, endlessly and uh, came close to pulling his hair out, Nikola Tesla, was his mentions of Albert Einstein and what a fool he was. Specifically, he called him a fuzzy-haired crackpot. There's a lot of quotes from Nikola Tesla about uh, Albert Einstein. Uh, specifically, the notion of the reification of space as having properties, which is the position, the insane position of relativity, and that forward by Einstein. He, uh, he said that this was foolishness. Also, too, uh, here's another quote from Tesla. Relativity is a beggar wrapped in the purple robes of a king, whom ignorant people take for a king. This theory, he says, is wrapped in uh, fallacies and uh, is... Uh, a mathematical garb that's magnificent, which fascinates, dazzles, and blinds people to countless underlying errors. A theory is like a beggar clothed in the purple robes whom the ignorant people take for a king. Um, my conclusions differ from Einstein's, and it is to this extent that, uh, that uh, tends to disprove the Einstein theory. My explanations of natural phenomena are not so involved as his. They are much simpler. And when I'm ready, I'll make my announcements. Those are the papers, by the way, in the missing trunks of Nikola Tesla that disappeared at his death, unfortunately. We do actually have uh, some of the unified uh, theory uh, from Nikola Tesla that survives. Uh, very, very little, unfortunately. Um, he also wrote a really neat poem for a dinner party for his friend, by the way, and I've talked about this before. There's a very involved poem, and the whole poem is about throwing poo in the face of... Yeah, Nikola Tesla wrote a fancy poem about what a stupid, ignorant dingleberry Einstein was. This is the most gentle person of our scientific history. And, uh, yeah, so we know really what Nikola Tesla thought about Einstein. Uh, this theory of Einstein relativity is a mass of errors, deceptive ideas, violently opposed to the teachings of great men of science in the past and even to common sense. Einstein is a beggar dressed in the purple robes of a king. Once again, he says that again. Uh, since action and reaction are coexistent, it follows that the supposed curvature of space, a la Einstein, is entirely impossible and absurd. Also, Nikola Tesla. <clears throat> There's a lot of other stuff that we need to actually talk about uh, Einstein. By the way, uh, I think uh, last year, Einstein was famous for having kept diaries. Yeah, of his travels, things he would see, he would comment on them. His family doesn't want those, but one got translated from the German. And it's published by the prestigious Princeton University Press. You can find it on, Einstein, on uh, Amazon. Excuse me. It's called The Travel Diaries of Albert Einstein. It's only part of them. This only involves the Far East, Palestine, and Spain. And within it, 
I, I can't tell you here in a YouTube video because I'd have to say some really heinous stuff in quoting what uh, Albert Einstein said. Hardcore. Hardcore stuff that you would not believe that came out of his pencil and his own personal diary. He said, you know, you just imagine like the most crazy, um, you know, uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, redneck, you know, you know, a true hater. I'm going to give you a picture. You can look up this book, by the way, and look at some of the quotes from it. Einstein said that stuff and way worse. So he said it about a lot of different uh, races. So that's a fact. There, this is Princeton University Press publication. So Einstein was a hardcore hater. There are many uh, varieties of humanity that, uh, and this is only one diary of a certain part of the world, several parts of the world that he wrote about. Other diaries exist from him, not translated. I don't know if they'll ever reach the light of day because there's a lot of people invested in this guy's uh, image, maintaining uh, its uh, pristine nature, which, of course, it never had it to begin with. But, yeah, so Einstein was a radical hater, the likes of which you didn't even know. This is not, this is his own words. It's just translated from the German. Princeton University Press is pretty prestigious, by the way. I love some of the stuff that they put out. I always have on uh, metaphysics and philosophy. So, Einstein was uh, a hater. He was a, a nasty, disgusting bigot. This is not my opinion. This is hardcore fact. The most gentle scientist in the world and the most brilliant, Nikola Tesla. The only time... Nikola Tesla rags on somebody, and he does it endlessly. But what a fool he is, is Tesla about Einstein. This relativity was... Uh... And by the way, you need to look this guy up. Most of you have never heard of this person. His name is Henri Poincaré. You could just type in H-E-N-R-I. Henri Poincaré. P-O-I-N-C-A-R-E. A lot of his stuff is a free download on Archive. 90% roughly, of what Einstein is famous for was stolen from Henri Poincaré. Let's go over some of the timelines. Um, uh, 1895, at the age of 16, Albert Einstein fails a simple entrance exam to the engineering school in Zurich. 1896, at the age of 17, Einstein became a high school dropout. His German citizenship is revoked and he enrolls at the Swiss Federal Polytechnic School in Zurich. 1898. Poincaré in France writes the paper on the history, on the theory of relativity. It wasn't called relativity by Poincaré. So this was written in 1898 by Henri Poincaré, which uh, never mentions Einstein, of course, which Einstein plagiarized as one of his in his 1905 paper without ever citing Henri Poincaré. By the way, here's a famous true quote from Einstein. Einstein said famously, and it's so apropos to this, the secret uh, is uh, hiding your sources. In other words, Einstein stole from a lot of different people and he hid his sources and he claimed it as his own. 1900, Max Planck and Wilhelm Wien of uh, Deutschland, Germany, uh, developed the quantum theory which Einstein plagiarized in his Das Lichtwand or Light Quantum paper in 1905, five years later, citing neither Planck nor Wien. 1901, at the age of 22, after five years of the Swiss uh, Federal Polytechnic School, Einstein graduated with the lowest grade point average in the entire class. He became a Swiss citizen and he got a job as a technical assistant in a patent office. Um, 1905, Philip Edward Anton von Leonard, yes, Philip Edward Anton von Leonard, nice long name there, uh, who's uh, Einstein's wife studied under, yeah, Einstein's wife studied under this guy, received a Nobel Prize, you can look this guy up too, by the way, received a Nobel Prize for discovering the photoelectric effect, which Einstein plagiarized the same year as his paper, with no reference to Einstein. None. Um, there's another one where uh, Sir Isaac Newton talks about the bending of light uh, around uh, the huge gravitational acceleration of the sun. 
Einstein is given credit for that. There are actually three people that uh, talk about this at great length, long before Einstein ever came around. Yet people attribute that to him. So his, uh, his Nobel Prize for the photoelectric effect, which, by the way, the explanation of which is entirely wrong, was not a discovery of Einstein. It was stolen from Philip Edward Anton. Like I said, 90% of the stuff uh, that uh, you think uh, E equals uh, MC squared, that actually uh, first came out of uh, Henri Poincaré, not Einstein. Everything, by the way, too, and I have to mention this while I'm thinking about it, there are four books, one of which is 2,300 pages long. I forget, it's 2,300. Four books written about all the plagiarism of Einstein. Hardcore facts, not opinions, not conjectures. Einstein was a plagiarist and a fraud. So we know that Einstein, by his own diary, translated from the German and published by the prestigious Princeton University Press, was a, de, was a radical bigot, a hardcore radical bigot. The, only, the most gentle, brilliant scientist of our time, Nikola Tesla. The only person that he railed against as being an idiot, a fool, on and on and on. These are Nikola Tesla's own words. The only time Nikola Tesla loses his cool, the most gentle person ever, was about Einstein. So... He stole everything from Hanley Poincaré. That's three strikes and you're out. Einstein's own name, by the way, Einstein means one stone, which is a euphemism for being an idiot. You got one stone rolling around in your head. Yeah. So, there's actually a longer list than this on the timeline of uh, Einstein. And if you want to check out that book by Princeton University Press, you can find that on Amazon. It's the uh, Travel Diaries of Albert Einstein. Prestigious publication by prestigious university. Princeton University Press is, uh, does really good work, mostly so. Almost entirely. They, they're really, really good. And uh, I saw one review, one person leave a review on this book, and it's just one sentence. Like, how dare you slander Einstein? He's such a brilliant man. It's like, this is Einstein's own words, just translated from the German into English. Einstein is a radical bigot. I can't even tell you. I would love to quote to you some of the things that Einstein said in his diary. I would actually love to, but I would probably, you know, because YouTube listens to everything. They wouldn't know that I'm actually quoting of somebody. I can't tell you what it says because it's so radical, but it is radical. Look it up for yourself if you want some direct quotes from that book of Einstein's diary. So, Einstein is a thief, a fool, a bigot. Nikola Tesla hated him. He stole everything from Hanley Poincaré. He did not actually discover the photoelectric effect at all. We know now, countless people have proven that light doesn't have a constant speed. By the way, it's not a speed at all. It's a rate of induction. Light slows down. Rate of induction slows down in water, glass, so on and so forth. We've known that, uh, of course, the explanation is mine because it's accurate, dielectric acceleration, that light bends under heavy gravitational acceleration. So when you say, well, you know, the last time it was a lunar eclipse, so I proved Einstein's theory right. That was not Einstein's theory at all. It didn't belong to him. Three people prior to him postulated that light, you know, like a star, would actually appear over the sun under a perfect full moon, I mean, under a perfect uh, solar eclipse. People say, oh, this proves Einstein. It was, that it belonged to Einstein. And it has nothing to do with warp space time. Time is only a measure, and space has no properties. What is warping is the circuit of light under the dielectric acceleration of the, uh, the sun's, uh, what we call, gravity. So that's it. Einstein is a bigot, a fraud, a plagiarist, and a huge thief. And above all else, a fool. And this is the person... Uh, the 21st century, you know, heralds as a genius of geniuses, and he's not. It's not my opinion that that's the case. It's a fact that that's the case. But we live in a corrupt and sick, a sick age. We're, you're brought up to believe this crap. I was told this crap, oh, this is the most brilliant person ever lived, Albert Einstein. It's, like, it's all a complete lie. It really, really is. The timeline is undeniable. It's like you can't infer other conclusions from this. 
these things were written by Henri Poincaré long before Einstein ever said them. Einstein literally did steal this stuff from Henri Poincaré. It's not my opinion that that's the case. It's a fact that that's the case. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day and goodbye.